today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to start a print on demand puzzle business using Printful and Shopify along with the recommended app for your business and some marketing strategies. What's going on everyone? It's me Melvin and I'm back again with another video. On this channel, we talk about make money online, print on demand, how to tutorials and reviews. If this is content you like, do me a quick solid, smash that like button, destroy that subscribe button, make sure you hit that notification bell. That way you don't miss out on any future videos and without further ado, let's get straight into the content. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to Shopify.com, start your 14 day free trial. Okay, so once you sign up with Shopify, you want to actually decorate your store, right? And you want to get your store optimized and ready to start selling. You're going to be brought to your dashboard, okay? So when you get brought to your dashboard, you actually want to go to apps and you want to install an app called Printful. So once you actually install the app called Printful, now we're going to go straight into the app and we're actually going to start searching for a product, which is going to be puzzles. And we're going to go here to add product. We're actually going to go to home and living and we're actually going to click on puzzles. And as you can see here, there's a jigsaw puzzle. We're going to click on it. So once you click on this puzzle, you're going to want to go to product info and guidelines. You're going to want to go to print file templates and you're going to want to download this template. So after you download this template, we're going to want to open up Adobe Illustrator. So after you're in Adobe Illustrator, what you're going to want to do is open up that template that you actually downloaded from Printful. So right here, I'm going to go to recents because I actually downloaded it earlier. Right here, you're going to have the 252 piece and the actual 520 piece puzzle. So you want to actually you know make your product image for both of them right so you're gonna want to decorate both of the templates so right here I'm actually gonna click on this horizontal one for 252 piece you know in PNG in Adobe Illustrator so I'm just gonna click on that one here and I'm gonna hit open so after it's open I'm on a MacBook so I'm gonna hit command minus just to size it down and right here we're gonna have our template so what we're gonna want to do is actually drag in a design and you want to design this actual template so I'm actually going to go right here to my finder. I'm actually going to go here where I have my designs at and I'm going to look for my design. So I'm going to sit here and drag in a design. So after you drag in your design, you want to make sure that your design is a PNG transparent background, meaning no background in your design. So after you actually have your design, you want to hit the selection tool right here to the left and you want to drag your design and size it down so it can fit inside this red box okay that's more like your safe zone but to be honest with you you can actually go out the red line you just can't go out of the template but just to be safe what we're gonna do is I'm actually gonna size this up right there to make sure your design is centered what you want to do is go to properties okay and you want to hit this button right here which it says horizontal align center and it's gonna align it so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to drag this corner down to the bottom right there. Then I'm going to hit align center and there it go. So the next thing you're going to want to do is actually click this uh, rectangle tool and you're going to want to sit here and drag it across the whole entire template. Okay. So this is really important that you guys do this. This is the way I do it. You guys may find an easier way to do it, but I'm just showing you the way that I do it. So then after... So now after you filled the whole template with the rectangle tool, you want to actually double click on this white here on the left, this fill button, double click it, and you want to actually put the color of your background, okay? So for this case, I'm actually going to leave it black, and then now you want to hit the selection tool, and after you hit the selection tool, you're going to right click inside this template, and you're going to arrange, and then you're going to put send to back. So then now... You have your background in the back, you have your design up front. So now you want to actually delete this uh, printful information. So you're going to see that this actual box inside the template that's highlighted, this one right here, just click on it and just hit delete. So right there, you're going to have your design inside the template. So the next step in this process is actually exporting this template. So we're going to go to file, we're going to go to export, export as. And then right here you actually want to name your template right and you want to save it to where you uh, can access your download so I'm just gonna put downloads there and I'm gonna type in everyday PNG 
so it's important to actually click use artboard because when we upload this design onto printful it's gonna actually upload the entire template okay so right here I'm just gonna hit export then I'm gonna hit OK and then now what we could do is we can actually go back over here to printful so you want to follow that whole entire process for the 520 horizontal puzzle as well okay so you could give your customer options you know on both puzzles the 252 piece and the 520 piece so right here I'm gonna click off this 520 piece puzzle and I'm gonna leave the 252 piece puzzle simply because I only created one for the 252 piece so right here after we do that we're just gonna drop in our design right so right here I'm gonna go to upload and I'm actually gonna find this puzzle here so there we have it so then now our actual template is uploading with our design so right here I'm just gonna hit select and as you can see here this is the whole entire puzzle okay so what we're gonna do is click mock-up view so it's generating the mock-ups so that way you get to see how it's gonna look so right here as you can see this is how the puzzle looks okay so we click on this one here and I think that's pretty cool that they actually do mock-ups like this right so now that you uploaded your design onto printful okay you want to actually click on proceed to media so once you proceed to media you're gonna actually pick your mock-up so after you click your mock-up you want to actually click proceed to pricing and you want to give a compelling title and description so that way your store can easily be found by search on Google things of that nature okay so make sure you give it a good title I'm just gonna leave it like this for right now just for the sake of this video and if you have your store optimized uh, to be using tags then you guys can add in your tags right there okay and you could choose the collection that you actually want to upload it in so for this example I'm gonna leave everything just as it is I'm gonna hit proceed to pricing and I'm just gonna leave it as well but in essence you want to actually pick a good price and a good profit margin that you actually want to collect on this actual product okay so after you're satisfied from right here I'm just gonna hit submit to store so now that the actual puzzle is uploaded onto your store okay you can actually click on this button here that says edit it's gonna bring up your actual design and what we're gonna do is click on this uh, t-shirt looking thing right here right next to the jigsaw puzzle and right here you're gonna be brought up with your print file and mock-up one thing you guys can do I suggest you guys follow this process right so you guys can use this image you know for promoting it right creating some high converting product images on Canva or on Glorify links will be in the description to both so right here I'm just gonna hit preview and then after you click that preview button you just click on view full size and there you there you go right you have the full size here so all I'm gonna do is actually screenshot this right so I'm actually gonna bring this in just like so and I'm actually gonna get a screenshot of this whole puzzle I'm just gonna hit capture so that now I actually have this image okay so I can easily go over to a website called remove.bg and right here I'm gonna hit upload then I'm gonna find that screenshot there we go hit open and it's gonna remove the background of that of that screenshot okay so there it goes so now I'm just gonna hit download so this is how that actual products gonna look with the background removed so the next step in this process and this is a really important process right it's actually going back to your Shopify uh, dashboard and now we want to actually download a app and this app is called variant option product options okay so what this app is gonna do they're gonna upload a photo either of themselves or of a pet however you want to approach this process right if you actually want to target dog lovers cat lovers you can convert their dog into a cartoon version you could give them an option to sit here and upload a photo and you could probably include their name right so we're gonna actually do that right here so I'm gonna click on that app and what you're gonna want to do they're gonna give you two two plans you want to pick a plan the basic plan is more than enough they give you a 14 day free trial when you sign up just hit activate and all I'm gonna hit is approve and then right here once you get brought up to this screen what you're gonna want to do is where it says to add options to a single product I'm just gonna click on choose product and right here I'm actually gonna look for jigsaw puzzle okay so then I'm gonna hit select so now it's gonna bring up the puzzle so now it says add 
virtual option so I'm gonna click on that button there or we could put something like upload photo upload your photo then the type you want to make sure you hit file upload and you want to click on this button required okay so then we're gonna hit okay and then now what we're gonna do is actually add another virtual option and that's gonna be where they could actually type in your name so I'm just gonna put something like your name then for type I'm gonna put long text and you can actually you know write the number of characters we could do something like 15 okay and then we can leave that unchecked okay because it's we don't want to make it a requirement if they don't want to add their name they don't have to so we're gonna leave that just like it is and we're just gonna click okay so then now what you're gonna do is hit save so then now when the customer actually sees this puzzle they're gonna click on this choose file button they're gonna upload their photo okay so once you actually receive that order on your back end here it's gonna come in under orders so once you click on orders it's gonna actually show the puzzle and it's gonna show the customers information right their address things of that nature and the actual photo that they actually uploaded when they made the purchase so once you get that photo you can easily go and reach out to your designer on Fiverr shoot them over the photo have it converted into a cartoon version so however you want to approach your puzzle business but essentially everything's gonna be found under orders okay you're gonna actually see that photo they actually uploaded so then now what we want to do is actually check it out live right on the store so I'm gonna click here and I'm gonna click on this button right so now I'm gonna go on the website so right here this is the puzzle so as you can see once you actually get your website going and started and this is how it's typically gonna look right you're gonna have your actual puzzle here so the customer is gonna see this right they're gonna be like oh wow that's a nice puzzle they're gonna sit here choose file they get to upload their photo okay and if they want they could type in their name so once they add it to cart they process the order you're gonna receive it on the back end on Shopify okay you're gonna get that photo they uploaded how much they paid their address the whole nine okay and Printful has your back because what they're gonna do is capture that order they're gonna process the order ship it to your customer and you're gonna sit here and collect the profit now let's talk about a marketing strategy that you can approach right so I actually created a slide here that I actually want to share with you right so essentially for this business for any type of print on demand business it could be print on demand drop shipping whatever business that you have you start a Facebook page for your business TikTok account and an Instagram account create some high converting product images using Canva or glorify so if you guys don't know what glorify is it's similar to Canva but it's geared more for e-commerce entrepreneurs okay and you can create some amazing product images something like that right to be honest with you I like it and you know what it works well with Shopify Amazon Etsy all these platforms so let me tell you something it's amazing link will be in the description below if you guys want to test it out for yourselves um, but right here you want to create some high converting product images using Canva or Glorify and post at least two or three times a day okay and you can essentially reach out to influencers as well okay website like Shoutcart where you basically register for free okay and you could actually find influencers right here on this platform that can help you promote your product on their page okay and typically your money stays safe within shout cart and it doesn't get released until the influencer actually posts that product on their page so that's a beauty and you know glorify is gonna be the platform for you because you can easily create some amazing product images on this platform okay so something for you guys to look into so essentially that's how you can sit here start design and actually start marketing your print on demand puzzle business okay my name is Melvin I appreciate you guys stopping by this channel if you guys found value in this video do me a quick solid smash that like button destroy that subscribe button make sure you hit that notification bell that way you don't miss out on any future videos and let me know in the comment section what are your thoughts on this puzzle business and I'll see you guys in the next video Thank you for watching.